hello guys my name is isaac and welcome back to my channel so having received some mails from the subscribers asking me how one can interact with a smart contract i just thought why not make a video or a series on um, interacting with smart contract on building dApps for those of you who don't know dApp is a, a decentralized application so i just thought of making a series on web3.js so web3.js is a javascript library used to interact with the ethereum blockchain and smart contracts so in this series we'll build our very own first dApp and in this video we'll talk about installing web3.js to your project we can go to the documentation right here we can see web3.js is a collection of libraries that allows you to interact with a Luca and remote Ethereum node. So we can create a Luca Ethereum node on our system and interact with it. We'll leave that for other video when we learn about Truffle and Ganache. So for now, we'll be interacting with the Rustin testnet. So we have to talk about um, installing WebTerraJS in our project. We can go to the Getting Started. As you can see, WebTerraJS has some sub libraries. So we can see the WebTerraJS ETH here, which is used for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain and the smart contracts. We can see the SSH, which is used for protocol. We can see the BZ, which is used for decentralized file storage. We're focusing on the UTs, which has helper functions for building dApps, and also the um, EAT library, which is used for interacting with the smart contracts. So we're focusing on these two here, and how to add WebTrajects to our project. First, we need to get to a trajectory so project. We can, if we're using Node, we can use npm install. But in this series, I'll uh, just make use of a plain JavaScript, HTML, and CSS so not to get things complicated. So, to get this all started, we need to get the CDN of Web3.js. So, we can search for CDN of Web3.js. Let's go to this first one. Okay, this is 1.3 and 1.3, okay. We can also select the version we need, but we'll just leave it at 1.3 because the docs we are fully present is 1.3. But we'll just leave this and um, I'll just get the minified version. I'm copying the script tag right here. So we need to create our project. So I uh, will open my command prompt and I'll go to my desktop folder. I'll be using VS Code for this series. I'll go to my desktop folder and I'll create a directory. Let's just call this Web3. Call this Web3. And I'll go into this Web3 folder. And I'll open this with uh, VS Code using the code command. And I'll just close this command prompt. So as you can see here, we have the folder open in our VS Code. And we need to we need to have an HTML file to render on the front end so we can create a new file here called this index.html. We're making use of a VS Code extension which is called a live server. So the live server will serve this folder on our local host. So right here we can simply create an HTML template using the doc here and hit enter. This will generate a basic HTML template. So right in the head tag we need the web script and I can see I copied it from here so we can just paste this here and we can close this side we can run this on our live server once you right click you can see open with live server if you don't see that option here you can go to the extension tab and just search for live server and uh, this is it you can install this also And we can run this on our live server. So this runs it on our local host. As you can see, not much is happening here. We need to create a web three instance and give it a provider. So the provider is like um, giving it a network to interact with. If you have MetaMask installed on your browser, then by default, there's the window.ethereum that is injected to every project. So if we should check this now, if we should go to the console, you can do this by hitting F12 or you can right click and go to inspect. So we'll go to the console right here and we can say window.ethereum. We can see we have a window.ethereum here. This is injected by MetaMask. Also, we have the web tray, the window.web tray here too, which is also injected by MetaMask. We need to initialize our web tree. Right now, we just imported this web tree, but we are not doing anything with this web tree. For that, we'll create a script here. We'll call this 
scripts .js, whatever you want to call this and right here we need to create a const here on web3 we'll assign this to the web3 we installed using the caps here web3 okay you can call this file using the script tag and here we just have to go to script.js right now we've got the scripts and we've initialized our web3 and we did not pass any provider so web3 can take different provider if you should go back to the docs here so you can take the http provider you can take a websocket provider so we can make use of a http provider we can make use of infura we can make use of local providers like our local node and but right now we'll just connect this web3 to metamask so if we should check back here we have the web3 um, property and also we have current current provider so this gives us the current provider metamask is connected to so we can simply use this here web3 or we can simply do windows the web3 dot current provider so what this does is it gives us a web3 instance that's connected to wherever metamask is connected to so once we go back here once we go back here oh my bad we need to interested in using the new keyword so we need to use the new keyword because this is a class so once we go back in using the new keyword so once we go back here we can see nothing much is happening here right now so we are connected to metamask but we need to do something to show that we're connected to metamask so right here i'll add a button so that we can do something so i'll this button and we'll give this we'll give this an id send so this should just be send no styling here this is just a basic button and this is just a basic button that does nothing so we need to hook this in our script tag i'll create a click listener for this button so i'll do this so this is a basic javascript to add a listener to um, an element so i'm adding a click listener so once the user clicks on this this block of code runs so right here i want to connect the metamask to our website so right here we can make use of the ethereum that is being injected to us window the web tree dot current provider just enable so what this does is it enables uh, metamask or whatever provider we are connected to so once we run this couldn't find my element let's see right here this is send and this code is connect and let's just move this up so it can find the elements and um, let's see let's give this connect and let's go back here so once we click on this we can see this pops up our metamask which means our metamask is now connected to our project so i'll just sign in and let's just use the first account so right now we've connected to our metamask and we can start giving our tabs from here okay let me just change the text of this to be connect So that's all for installing web to a project and connecting it to your metamask in future videos we'll talk about interacting with the smart contract building the contract building a ui for this contract and also listening to events from the ethereum network so if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up or a thumbs up depending on what you feel about this video and i'll see you guys in the next video